Aloha. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Paul Fletcher, and I'm honored to be connecting with you. I am a master teacher, certified through the Tao Academy, as a master teacher, able to share with you amazing wisdom brought to us by Dr. Master Zhigong Sha. And today I'm going to be talking about understanding the source field. And this is in relationship to the source healing field that uh, Master Shah has brought to humanity to serve humanity. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a deeper understanding of what it is, how it works, and why you should spend quite a bit more time experiencing the source field. So this is what we'll be talking about today. I encourage you to stick around and uh, experience not only the wisdom, but you'll actually experience some of the source field as well and as you have a deeper understanding then you may choose to uh, place yourself in this source field more often and there are many ways in which you can accomplish that so I look forward to uh, sharing that information with you so let's see who's joined us so far today welcome Bas Van Buren Aloha Samba Welcome, Jen. Uh, Aloha, Shelly. Aloha, Dan. Welcome also, Crane. And welcome, Kristen. Thank you for your service. Uh, welcome also to Pranjal. And we're waiting for some more people to join. It's been a busy morning to start out with. And I'm excited because uh, we're getting near the end of turning over our market to the people that have bought our business so I can actually start to have a little bit more of a life again at least for a few weeks before I run off to Toronto spend a couple weeks with Master Shah which is a huge blessing of course I'll have to keep everybody posted uh, about the live streams um, I don't know uh, if I'll be doing those uh, or not it's too early to tell depends on the demands on my time up there Welcome, Cora. <clears throat> and so today, uh, most of you will be familiar with um, the general aspects. But I, I uh, was training with the other master teachers, um, with Master Cecilia, who is the uh, Dao Chong leader, the source field uh, lead teacher. And um, her and Master Francisco are the lead teachers. And the wisdom she was imparting uh, she probably has imparted it before, but it's the first time I heard it at the level that it needs to be heard. And it was important for me to hear because uh, I'll be moving to Belgium uh, down the road here about a month or so. And accordingly, um, I'll be assisting the center there, the uh, Belgium Dow Center there, to share with the world more about the Dow Source field which is also called the Dao Chong. So I'm going to share with you more about that as we go. Welcome, Sherry back. Welcome, uh, Magma. Welcome also to Gregory. Aloha, Delma. Thank you for coming. Thank you, everybody, for hitting the share button. I think that this topic will actually be very well received by just about anybody because uh, it's one of those things where where uh, once we have a deeper understanding of the power of the source field, then we can work with it to assist us tremendously. But let us first go ahead and connect, uh, placing our hands in soul light, soul service hand position, or the prayer position. The soul light, soul service hand position is where we drop the left hand in front of the heart center. And then I will uh, invite in all the beings of light that reside in the source field. Dear heaven, dear Tao, dear the source, dear all the beings of light residing within the source field, including the angels, the healing angels, the archangels, all of the ascended masters, lamas, sifus, gurus, and saints, all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, all the beings of light, we invite you to come at this time and we ask you to be present to assist in this wisdom, teachings, and blessings from this Tao Chong source field. We're extremely grateful for all that you do for us, both 
seen and unseen. And so one of the tools that comes from the source field is love and light. And it can come in many different ways, including the song of love, peace, and harmony. So as I do with each of my live streams, we chant this mantra one time. And this uh, literally radiates love and light from the source field to each and every one of us. Uh, the more we chant it, the more we align. But the purpose of chanting it now is to bring us all into an energetic alignment that the wisdom can be received that uh, the higher guidance can be understood. So let us sing one round together. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Woi woshin harling Woi tsvanadli Ang ming rung Har musher shong Shong ai pin hen her she Shong ai pin on her she I love my heart and soul I love all humanity. Join hearts and soul together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So welcome, Lutzia. Welcome, Janet. Aloha, Pamela. Welcome also to... Uh, Sarah Patton, great to see you here. Welcome, Kristen Strachan. And welcome, Bak Chaman. Aloha, Sudesh. Welcome, Alejandro and Julie Muppet. Thank you all for your presence. Welcome, Angela and Sherry Barry. Sherry Betty, excuse me. And if I missed you, forgive me. Thank you for your presence. So Bak Chaman asks, is the source field measurable? Let's see if that question is answerable through this guidance. So first I'm going to start with a flow, uh, and I'm going to ask Kevin to tell us what is the source field. And then I will go into some deeper teachings and understanding of it and how we can access it, uh, how we can accelerate the access to it. And then once we accelerate the access to it, how to get the most out of it. Um, there's a lot of value when we have a deeper understanding. Okay, so let's do so. Dear Heaven. Could you please offer us some teachings on the nature, power, and significance of the source field? Thank you. How? This is the soul of the one you know as Mother Earth. I live within the source field. Therefore, so do you. The source field is infinite. I am but a speck of sand in all universes. The source field is much like the ocean is to the droplet of water that flies away from the ocean as the wave touches the shore. The droplet of water often thinks it is separate, but as it returns to the ocean, it realizes that the source is much larger than its comprehension as a planet operating within a galaxy living within a universe 
that is one of billions of universes that resides within the source field. I am demonstrably humbled. It is beyond my understanding the love and the magnificence of my creator, the source. Therefore, the source field is that which emanates, permeates all that exists. And from what I am told, all that is currently in a state of non-existence. The source field is the giver of life. It is the giver of all that is the root of creation. The source field carries within it nourishment, light from original creator. The source field is what you and I float in. It is not limited by physical obstructions. The source field permeates my skin, my water, my mantle and core. No different than air and space. The source field is not restricted by physicalness. It is both unmanifest and manifest. When I need support, I pray to the source and the field around me glows and starts healing for my request. I have never once been ignored. I have always been blessed. You live upon my surface. Therefore, every blessing I request is not for me as an individual selfish being, for that is the opposite of spiritual growth. I ask these blessings for all that resides within and above. I ask these blessings so that we, you and I, and all that is a part of my being can return to the source. For me, the source field is like mother's milk and I am beyond grateful that my creator has made it so readily available that I can suckle from this nurturing energy at any time and in fact in any moment. This is but some of what I have come to understand about the source field. I have I am very grateful to share this wisdom with each of you. Ah.
how, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Mother Earth. What a beautiful, kind message. <clears throat> okay, let's see who else joined us. Welcome, Paul. Welcome, Regina. Welcome, Richard. Aloha, Rosetta. Welcome, Heike. Welcome, Valerie. Aloha, Krista. Welcome, also, Monica and Kartik. <clears throat> okay. So that was a piece of information, a lot of good information that I had uh, never heard before. And that came from Mother Earth. Understanding the source field. You know, from a personal perspective, from roughly the age of 18, I really started waking up and started searching out different, uh, why am I here, what's life all about, blah, 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 trained under a couple of different masters and, and trained under different belief systems and kept my mind open and did all the stuff you guys have done, you know, dabbled in crystals, dabbled in tarot cards, dabbled in numerology, dabbled in astrology, you know, rounded out the wisdom in all these different ways, psychics and blah, and all this different uh, sources of information, basically, that, that, uh, that were my soul's way of going, okay, we've seen this, okay, we've understood this, okay, next. And just you know process through things that are that serve me for a little while and then we just keep moving forward and when I met uh, my, my current teacher his name is Master Shah <clears throat> I realized that from a very real perspective probably the first time in my life from a tangible when I say real I mean tangible you can touch it feel it you can validate it because I'm one of those people that needed validation that there really was a creator and that that creator really does care about us and how was I able to validate that I saw a person in front of me Master Shah that um, was the physical representation of uh, pure love of unconditional love uh, and accordingly I saw that heaven uh, the creator gave this person Master Shah the ability to do extraordinary things, things that the mind couldn't understand. Uh, what others might call miracle level healing, uh, I was witnessing. And then uh, I was given the opportunity to receive uh, what's, what's referred to as a transmission so I could offer healing. And I still didn't believe I could do that, but you know, I was told I received the transmission and I, I watched watched on stage when he said the word transmission okay now you've received this healing ability go do it something with it so it took me over a year and a half in offering healing blessings to believe that it was working and so where am I heading with all this the source field and understanding the source field why did uh, this person come to earth why did Jesus come to earth why did Buddha come to earth why did I'm not saying he's like those other great masters uh, but the source is always sending beautiful souls Dalai Lama okay uh, all, the source is always sending beautiful souls to serve human beings you are a beautiful soul the source field is available to each of us equally we are not available to the source field as much as we need to be the source field is literally the frequencies the love and the light that we swim in like fish swim in the ocean and the purity of that source field is exceedingly high we on the other hand are very dense and we are unable to receive the exceedingly high love and blessings from the source field why uh, there are several reasons but the most important one is that as a collective as an entirety mother earth the human race everything that we are we represent a collective energy which kind of acts like a, an unpleasant force field that keeps the source field from serving us well and so I was at a training with master Cecilia a few days ago and she offered some brilliant insights about 
what in Master Shah's terminology he calls the Tao Chang. T A O Tao Chang, C H A N G. And what he shared was that, what Master Cecilia shared was that in the uh, ancient times, when people went into uh, monasteries, when they went into temples, uh, when they went to, um, uh, if you were in American Indian, when they would go into the, into the, uh, the ritual tents, um, in in the Western cultures, they would go to the church. Uh, the terminology used for that would be called Dao Chang, which translates to what? It directly translates to source field. So this was a big aha moment for me. So in the past, if you were if you spoke Chinese, you know we're talking five, ten, twenty thousand years ago. If people went to a temple or they went to a monastery uh, as a monk, they would refer to where are you going? They wouldn't say the church, they wouldn't say the temple or the monastery. They would say, "I'm going to the Dao Chang," which translates to "I'm going to the source field." You understand that? There, in other words, where there is condensing of wisdom, a condensing of energy, a condensing of prayer, a condensing of intention, they would refer to that area as the source field, the Tao Chang. Isn't that interesting? I thought so. And I learned this just a day or so ago. And so Master Shah is an extraordinary being who because of his dedicated service to humanity he wants to come he wants to awaken people to love and peace and harmony and so he brought to humanity over the last 20 years 24 books and in his books he puts transmissions or power within that if we uh, receive those transmissions in essence it's like massive amounts of source field energy coming to us and blasting away blockages so the question becomes, how do we understand how that works? How do we uh, comprehend the source field coming to an individual uh, object or thing or location or place? Well, we know that churches, for example, are good source fields. We know that they are collective of positive energy, where in this example, Jesus and Mother Mary and their representative positivity the representative good virtue, the representative uh, blessings could reside. doesn't mean it does reside there, but it could reside there. And the same occurs for all the different places around the world where these kinds of ceremonies occur where uh, the source can connect to people. <clears throat> the ability to uh, receive heaven's highest love and frequencies can be very very limited can be very very limited and um, one of the reasons why is because we are a collective race we are a collective and we're not just humanity we are also inclusive of mother earth all of the bugs that live on our surface all of the birds all of the animals all of the fish the whales the dolphins we are a collective of the mountains and streams we are one massive collective that live on mother earth we are not just the human beings taking advantage of everything and as one big massive collective, we have uh, created our frequency, our own field. And that field can and does limit the amount of source field that can, that can uh, positively affect us. As Mother said, the source field radiates right through us. It's not, it doesn't stop at a wall. But it is dramatically diluted by the impurities of the entirety of humanity, of the entirety of the imbalance on Mother Earth, the, the movement away from love, and the movement towards love as well. There's a constant battle, right? Control, you know, war, all of those things that are not in alignment with love. And so this uh, huge imbalance on Mother Earth creates an environment in which the source field that radiates through everything is diluted. So it's hard for us to receive these higher frequencies. So what happens when a higher frequency is able to come through? Okay, I'm, I'm heading towards a very important uh, aha moment, so stick with me. So 10 years ago, when uh, I was 
first time watching this person named Master Shah, I was watching him call up, he's calling anywhere in the room, people who just showed up and they were just checking him out like I was. And there was different pain levels and he was asking people with pain to, to see if they wanted to receive a healing. They would come up and, and he would um, basically ask heaven to release the blockages and um, heaven blessed them with positive energy from the source field that was coming through his vehicle, through him. In other words, he was being a channel of the source field. Now, what is what is um, the Dalai Lama? The Dalai Lama is a channel of the source wisdom. But there are other human beings on earth that are channels of source healing energy. This is very common. Just look around. There are people all over the planet that are channels of healing energy. And so those individuals are more pure of heart. They are... Um, they are here to assist humanity and heaven knows who those individuals are so they utilize them to be a conduit through which the source field can come through and bring blessings to others do you get that so many of you are attuned to reiki uh, you are uh, uh, using an attunement of the source field to help bless others some of you have Tao hands or you have higher healing authorities uh, you are a conduit through which the source field is able to bless others the more pure your heart the more pure the blessings, the more the source field could come through. Okay, you get that part first. And it's really no different. The temples, the churches, the synagogues, all of these places, if they are of pure intention, if they uh, pray for others, not for self, if they do things that are selfless, if their uh, repository is such that it aligns with the source, then they can be a place where people can go to be healed. We see this all over the planet. So it can happen through individuals as well as it can through specific locations. So the source field tries to come to earth as best it can, but it basically uh, it steers towards both individuals and locations that are more in alignment with its original purity. Does that make sense so far? Good. So then when we move towards what is the source field, what is a Tao Chang, a Tao Chang is a location where the source field exists, and that location can be an individual or a location. The amount of source field uh, coming through that individual or location is dependent upon the purity of that person or location. So get clear on that. Now, this my teacher, Master Shah doesn't have to be your teacher it might not be somebody you know about but I want to give you a little more information in uh, about 2010 or so he brought this book to humanity and you see a calligraphy on it he learned from a 102 year old Chinese woman who was the sole carrier of an ancient wisdom called Yibitsa calligraphy Master Shah received messages as he's been serving humanity, he, he, he is a, a person who came here to serve humanity, and he's been offering, you know, miracle healing level blessings for a long time. And he heard heaven tell him, you need to develop a way that all humanity doesn't get their mind in the way, and when they look at something you create, Master Shah, they just received the source field. And so calligraphy was that medium to which that occurred. It's called oneness, Uribitsa calligraphy. Master Shah has, uh, just like uh, those who have Reiki, just like those who have other sources of healing abilities, there are many who are watching today that have different sources of healing abilities. Sometimes very small, sometimes amazing, okay? Master Shah is no different than any of us. But his uh, channel is much wider than mine, much wider than anybody that has Reiki, much wider than almost all of us, okay? Unless you're a very, very special being, his channel is very wide. What does that mean, his channel is wide? It means that the amount of source field that's able to come in to him and through him is much bigger than yours and mine. That's kind of common sense, right? There are certain temples in the world that are going to have a much bigger channel of light coming into them. There are certain churches in the world that are going to have much bigger channels coming into them than other ones because their purity is much more uh, 
in alignment with the source. And there are individuals that have come to earth where their channel is, you know, look at Jesus, look at Buddha. How big is their channel? It's gargantuan, right? The miracle healings everywhere. That's because they were a channel of the source field. They were a conduit. And we are all many conduits in our own way. Well, Master Shah is a very massive conduit. People don't uh, know enough about him yet to know that, but I do, and that's why I'm sharing it with you. And as a massive conduit of the source field, he knows that he's not going to be here forever. Jesus wasn't here forever. Buddha wasn't here forever. Those are much greater beings than Master Shah. I'm not putting him on the same temple or, or pillar. But the point is none of these uh, beings of light that came to serve were here forever, right? So he knows he's not going to be here forever also. So what is he doing? He's, he wants to serve humanity and bring as much of the source field to humanity as possible. Therefore, he has created Tao Chongs, T-A-O-C-H-A-N-G, Tao Chongs. <laughs> Tao Chong is a place that holds within it source field. And that source field, if it came through me, would be this big. But because it is placed within a larger space and it is placed within very special, blessed uh, Ibitsu calligraphies, then the source field kind of locks in. And it, and it creates this massive chamber of light that heaven can now come to earth, so to speak. This is very important to understand because when... You can locate, you know, a lot of people, they'll travel to, to the Buddhist mountains of China or they'll go to India and they'll sit down with the guru for 20 years. A lot of people will um, uh, go anywhere in the world just so they can reconnect to their source. But if you truly understood that heaven is always bringing great beings to earth to awaken us, to align us back to the source, but heaven has to literally weed through this massive debris that literally surrounds Mother Earth because we are all one. And as this big one energetic field that we've created is not pure, there's a lot of humanity that are impure, and we are one big collective. That's why the highest teachings are be selfless, serve others unconditionally, because it's serving the whole. Well, our whole energetic structure surrounding mother earth is not very pure so it's really difficult to have a pure channel of light from the source which is not directly above us it's all around us okay we're we're swimming in it but it's very difficult to have a pure channel from the source coming straight through this muck that surrounds mother earth and landing on a place on earth not easy to accomplish but this is exactly what has been accomplished in the Tao Chong's that are at the different centers around the world. Now I can speak about this for days and days and days, but there's really nothing that can actually validate it or prove it except you placing yourself within that Tao source field. Because it is, we need, we as individuals, we as human beings, we need to validate, yeah, that sounds good. Okay, I can sort of get the logic, but I need to experience it, right? I need to know for sure that that's real. Good. That's where I'd love you to be. But do understand that when heaven's source energy can, can come through unimpeded, like a massive channel of light, it doesn't stop on the surface of the concrete of the building that it came into. It radiates into earth and starts spreading out. And there are eight centers around the world where these Dao Chong fields are. And there are plans to expand that substantially. And as these beacons of light come in and they radiate out, what do you think they're doing? They are healing Mother Earth and accordingly humanity. So this is not a small thing. If you truly understand the nature, power, and significance of the source field, and you truly understand the nature, power, and significance of uh, anchoring the source field through a column onto Mother Earth, then you'll start to understand what is a Tao Chung. 
Because again, a Dao Chong is not just where Master Sha has his centers. Those happen to be, in my observation, and you have to go there to experience it yourself, the most powerful Dao Chongs on earth. But there are other ones. Like I said, Dao Chong is a is a location where the source field comes in and can can reach and stabilize. Could be a church, could be a temple, could be a monastery, could be many places. But there's very, very few where that channel of light is very wide and very strong. So how then do you experience the source field? Let me show you. This is an example of the source field. This is just an example. You could hold a picture of Jesus. That's another example of a source field radiating light. What will expand the source field? If you have a picture of Jesus and you open your heart and you connect, I love you, my beloved Jesus, with all my heart. I give my life to you. I ask you to serve me. I ask you to bless this condition. I ask forgiveness for the mistakes I've made that might have brought this condition to me. Then what happens is your heart opens. And Jesus' conduit through which the source is all around comes through Jesus' heart, comes to you. This is one example of application of source field. This here on your screen is called the Ibiza calligraphy. It is another example of how heaven brings a source field and leaves it in one location for us to use, for us to re receive benefit from. Well, it's just a card with some funky, straggly lines on it, right? How could that possibly have any power even remotely close to a beautiful soul like a Jesus? I'm not telling you that. I'm telling you that heaven is always trying to serve us, and they do it in many different ways. We're not trying to get you to understand with your mind. We're trying to get you to understand with your heart. And the best way to accomplish that is to do what is suggested and see if it brings a value to you. So, for example, when Master Shah received guidance that how he is to bring the source field to humanity is through this love art, then he said, okay, I will, when I make this, I will connect to the source, the source light field the source energy comes through through the brush through the ink onto the paper and it stays there it becomes an imprint a physical imprint onto something that stays here with humanity do you understand that it's similar if you will to a picture of a Buddha, you know, if you go to the East, they walk around their Buddha uh, amulets or their images or their statues. These different um, images, statues, whatever they may be, you know, people, uh, I, went, I was in Belgium and they had everywhere uh, uh, statues of Mother Mary. I loved it. It was so gorgeous. These are representative of conduits through source field can come through and bless people. This is no different. It is simply a medium that is not designed to be religious and this is where a key understanding comes in because one of the biggest blockages in humanity is separation is um, a belief that my way is better than your way right and this is a huge problem for human beings uh, you know this belief system is the only way that belief system is the only way my teacher is the only way blah 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 whoever tells you their way is the only way you, you might want to question that teaching because it is separative and the highest wisdom is oneness right not separatism but oneness and so why does the source field have difficulty coming in why does the source field have difficulty positively blessing us and assisting us to clear our suffering because we are a collective we are a oneness we have always been a oneness but we act as individuals and we do not work together in many cases to serve each other and until that occurs and as long as 
belief systems, very rigid belief systems that say, my way is the only way and we're not going to listen to yours, as long as those exist, then there will continue to be a lack of oneness. So this individual who came to serve humanity, named Master Shah, came in and he received a message, don't have pictures of yourself, statues of yourself, blah, 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 blah. Just be a conduit with no ego and allow the source field to come through into this beautiful love art and place this love art all over the world. Place it in your books. Place it in specific locations and place them in a circle in these locations where people can sit within the source field that is not encumbered and not limited by the blockages that humanity as a whole has created. So it's not associated with any belief system. It's simply a beautiful piece of art that has no association whatsoever to any belief system. Therefore, people cannot say that they are challenged by it. Although people still try because they don't really understand it, it's meant to create no challenge, no uh, mind. It's meant to open the heart. That's the purpose of this piece of love art being the conduit through which the source field can reach us. For those that came in late, source fields can come through anything. They can come through images of great beings before us. They can come through temples and churches and monasteries. But the percentage of source field energy that comes through can be very limited. Sometimes you can find a good location that's a very high level of source field energy. So if you want to know if a pear is sweet, taste it. This is uh, the teachings from Master Shah. If you want to know if the source field within this piece of love art works, then you have to experience it. Now, these three words, the top one is uh, the or da, the second one is greatest. The third one is gratitude. The greatest gratitude. Da gan un. Da gan un translates to the greatest gratitude. So the greatest gratitude carries a positive message of gratitude. That is a message that releases negative energies. That is a message that releases selfishness and opens us up to gratitude, opens our hearts. So the love art acts as a conduit through which source field carries a positive message. There are 10 of these da's, the 10 da, greatest love, a very positive message, right? Greatest forgiveness, the greatest compassion, the greatest light, greatest humility, no ego, the greatest harmony to harmonize everything. Uh, the greatest flourishing. Who doesn't want flourishing? The greatest gratitude right here. Greatest service and greatest enlightenment. These 10 uh, qualities, these 10 uh, messages carry within them the purity of these 10 messages from the source field. And when we uh, spend time in front of this frequency, when we... Uh, do the practice that allows the frequency within, the message within, to come to us at our physical, emotional, mental, spiritual, soul level, then what happens is our blockages dissipate. Remember, we are one big whole, but you have your blockages, I have mine. I have my mindsets, my negativities, I have my angers, I have my stuff, you got your stuff, we all got our stuff, right? But heaven loves us so much. They keep sending us these amazing messengers of love and light. This teacher, Master Shah, his uh, mandate, and you can read his books. It says right in there, my mandate is to serve all universes. I'm not going to stop with just humanity. I'm here to serve all souls. And accordingly, because of his open heart, he became a much wider conduit through which heaven's source field can come through so when he creates these calligraphies, there is massive, 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 massive energy within. Massive light, massive love, massive messages that literally wash away our stuff. How do we bring it to us? 
you simply connect you open your heart you say dear the soul of the blessings within the source field that was transmitted into this love art the message of the greatest gratitude within I love you I would love to receive your source field healing blessings I am so grateful and you can make an individual request you can ask for something that's measurable the best way to test this is ask for something that's measurable right <laughs> ask for something that is you know you have pain behind your eye or your neck ache or whatever <clears throat> do it until the pain dissipates if 10 minutes is not enough go back to the recording and watch another 10 minutes how do you do it you put your five fingers together like this and you follow the lines of the calligraphy from top to bottom you just literally trace the lines but don't do it fast do it from your heart imagine you had the ink brush in your hand and you were drawing the art now what happens when you do this and you should chant you should chant uh, greatest gratitude or I love you or you can chant Dagon Un which is the Mandarin Chinese words for greatest gratitude you can chant please forgive me you can chant anything that opens your heart okay but you trace it with love and with consciousness and you do it 5 10 15 20 30 minutes you do it until there is a result some of you could have a result in five minutes I see it all the time literally I see it all the time five minutes there's a result some of you it might take 10 15 or 20 minutes could take even longer why because it has to the light has to come in and keep clearing the blockages clearing the blockages and we don't know how thick those blockages are heaven knows we don't so you just keep doing it until the blockages are cleared okay now if you can find a way to get yourself or your soul to a Dao Chong field which all eight centers worldwide go to drshaw.com and just scroll to the bottom of the page or, or just click on the word Dao Chong there are centers all over the world that are offering three or four times a week Dao Chong sessions. What's Dao Chong? Source field sessions, where you literally you either personally go or you register and your soul goes, and your soul sits in this Dao Chong field. When your soul receives this, which is by the way, when we sit here and trace, do you think you're receiving it physically? No, your soul is receiving the blessings. Your physical body uh, then mirrors. The change that occurred at the level of soul so your souls receives the blessings and so when we trace like this you are clearing blockages sufferings negative messages negative memories negative uh, information we are clearing that at the level of soul and then the mind the heart and the body adjusts because it is a mirror images of the blockages that the soul is carrying in your life you get it and so this is uh, a conduit through which some of the most potent heavenly source field can come to us and all that's asked of you is to trust long enough to trace long enough to receive a result now you can maximize the result by literally registering and, and putting yourself within a much larger source field like at his centers either in person or through webcast Learn more at drshaw.com. I'm sure Kristen will post the links. Today we're going to practice complimentary. Okay, this is a, a complimentary service. And by the way, you can purchase 10 of these if you want to get a hold of me. Just text me um, uh, in the Facebook message, and I'm happy to serve you. I'm not here to sell these. You can purchase them if you're interested, and then you'll have your own set. And I can tell you it's priceless, but you need to understand first. Okay, just know that they're available if you're interested. All right, so let's do this together. So first we connect from our heart. You can repeat if comfortable. Dear the soul of my beloved divine creator, the creator of the source field and all the blessings that you have infused in this piece of love art, Daganun, the greatest gratitude. I really appreciate you, my beloved creator, and all the blessings you've placed within this field. I would be deeply honored and grateful if you could bring from this field into my body into my soul the blessings that I request now thank you okay and make your request silently 
And then, again, as Master Shah says, if you want to know if a pear is sweet, taste it. If you want to know if this works, give it as long as it takes. Don't just do five minutes and say it didn't work. That's rude, and that's not insightful, and it's not communicating with an open heart. It's acting like you have more intelligence than something that's come here to serve humanity. Open your heart. Give it as long as it takes to see if it actually makes a difference. Okay? So let us trace. Now, I'm going to end the live stream in about eight minutes. So obviously, this is not going to be long enough. Make sure you come back, learn more, watch again if you came in late. If you can, purchase these. Go out and buy Master Shah's newest books. They have calligraphies in them. They will serve you. Let us begin. Trace from the top, slowly. Follow the lines. And let us chant, Da Gan En, which translates to the greatest gratitude. Da Gan En. Da ga da da ga da da ga da greatest gratitude greatest gratitude Greatest gratitude, greatest gratitude. Da Da <clears throat> greatest gratitude, greatest gratitude, greatest gratitude, greatest gratitude. Da ga na da ga na da ga na da ga na.
Greatest gratitude, greatest gratitude, greatest gratitude, greatest gratitude. Daganan, daganan. Dagan an, dagan an. Greatest gratitude, greatest gratitude, greatest gratitude, greatest gratitude. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Always finish writing the calligraphy. Okay. We spent about five or six minutes tracing. For some people, you might have had some immediate results. This depends on the level of the negativity and the level of the blockage that you may have experienced. I see there are four people that came in at the end. So I strongly recommend that you watch this from the beginning. There's a tremendous amount of unique and new information on the nature, power, and significance of the Tao source field. And how and why, at the end of this video, uh, you can understand why this love piece, this piece of love art, this um, card that carries the message in this case of uh, the greatest gratitude there are many different calligraphies each having a different message that releases negative energies how and why they're able to carry extraordinary amounts of Tao source frequency Tao source field and so the source field exists in in conclusion the source field exists everywhere with everyone in all time it has different layers of frequency the highest being original creator where we're at is like a, like like from the top of the Grand Canyon to the bottom of the Grand Canyon away we are a long way away from those original frequencies how do we know just look at our suffering how do we get back to the source we need to place ourselves within these higher frequency fields as often and as, as much as possible. But in order to understand what they are, you need to watch the video. And so once you have a deeper understanding of why we're unable to receive the higher source field frequencies and how we can align to these higher source field frequencies, then you'll understand and appreciate much, much more the love art you will understand and appreciate much, much more the value of these and their ability to serve you. So to finish, to uh, place yourself and more, more realistically your soul within the Tao Chong source healing fields, go to drsha.com, uh, click on Tao Chong, learn more there, and you can go to any of the eight centers worldwide, not only in person, but also remotely. You can register. And all of the blessings occur at the level of soul, okay? When we were tracing, we were not offering healing for your personal problem. It was the root cause of that personal problem is your soul is carrying a negative message, negative information. This is literally erasing the negative message and negative information and replacing it with positive information and positive messages. And accordingly, your physical suffering uh, has to change. And that's exactly what happens when you have a true understanding of this being a conduit of the source field. So I hope this helps you to have a much deeper and higher understanding than you had before. If you came in late, I recommend you watch again. If you wish to acquire this card or 10 of these cards, um, you can. You can contact any of the centers or you can contact me. They'll sell them to you. It's not part of my agenda, but I'm happy to assist you if you want them. Okay? They are priceless if you truly understand their value. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody.